So across the street from the Gunter Hotel is a little restaurant called the Princess Restaurant, and um, it's like a little like 1950s esque diner. There's a lot of the same stuff from the 50s um, in the restaurant, like the booths. These are original. Um, and whenever we went to the Gunter, they gave us little uh, certificates to get a free breakfast over here, which is really nice. So we're enjoying some uh, some breakfast stuff. Of course, I upgraded to potatoes and sausage. Um, the uh, One of the interesting things about this place is that uh, we came in and we just randomly sat down. Apparently, we sat down in the Truman booth, which um, it says, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Harry S. Truman ate dinner in this booth Father's Day, June 1st, 1953. And there's a picture of uh, the Trumans like walking in and sitting down at this booth and eating. So that's kind of cool. That was quite a while ago. Um, once we finish eating, we're going to uh, get ready and uh, head out of town. But I have one more stop before we do so. The last stop on our little Frostburg tour is uh, a little bakery called Lorenzo's. And uh, this place was super special to me because every time I would come up to Frostburg and visit my grandfather, he would always drive me up to Lorenzo's and we would get uh, different things for everyone, but I always got the same thing, sprinkled donut. When we went in, there was just one sprinkled donut left and I was like, that one is mine. It tastes the same as I remember it. This has been an unreal trip for me. You have no idea, Mal. All right, we can go now. <laughs> come in, come in, come in. How are you, sweetheart? Oh, hi. Oh, my goodness. Oh. When, the, when your mom told me you, that you were up in the area, and I thought, okay, she never mentioned anything about stopping by. Come on in, Mallory. It's so nice to meet you, nice sweetheart. You. Oh, my goodness, yes. So there was one last stop before uh, we head out of Frostburg. Um, yesterday, we saw Sally, which was my um, mom's dad's sister. Um, and today, we just stopped in and saw Brenda, and Brenda is my mom's mom's sister. And uh, it was just, it was great. Like yesterday, getting a chance to see Sally and Marty was super great. And uh, today, getting a chance to see um, Brenda and Paul was fantastic, because I have not seen them in years, and they have never had a chance to meet uh, Mallory. And it was just, we got a chance to just sit there and, and chat for a while. And um, her daughter had come over and we got to talk to her as well. And it's just, you know, like, I, like I've said before, like, I am not particularly, I don't have a huge extended family. Um, and I'm not particularly close with any of them, not because I don't want to be, but because I've been separated by distance for my entire life. And it's just really nice to be out this way and to be able to reconnect with some of these people and it was, it's also a lot of fun to surprise them <laughs> gonna be honest it's really fun to knock on someone's door and when they come to the door they're like what <laughs> it's just that's fun for me anyway um, so we are currently in Frostburg we are now leaving Frostburg we are heading home it is how long eight and a half hours eight hours 40 minutes uh, so what time is our ETA right now 2120 Really, nine o'clock? Okay, so like 9.30ish? That's that's kind of late. Maybe we'll be able to make up some time when we get near DC and can drive a little bit faster. We'll see, anyway. Good day. Yesterday was a good day. Today's already a great day. Let's go home, Mel. and it features Dixie Kong riding up on top of Donkey Kong while he's spinning all crazy like it's really great it is selling tomorrow you can get merch and stuff like that we'll link to that as well 
but if you want to own the original, you, you have to get your bids in because it's going to be ending tomorrow. Anyway, I, that's all I wanted to say. How was that? Good. So a little update, uh, it's currently 5.30 p.m. We are in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Yeah. And um, we have been in one lane of traffic to get on to 95, I-95. We've been, we've been sitting here for like, what, 30 minutes? Yeah. And we just got to where the sign says that we can get to I-95 in one mile. And we are not, oh, here we go. We're moving a little bit. We're moving, we're moving, we're moving, and we're stuck. I don't know. I don't know. We, um, we got up really early this morning. We got up at 8.30, went and had breakfast. Um, got checked out by quarter after 10. We did spend quite a bit of time talking to um, Brendan Paul, which was fine. We got on the road basically around like- 12.30. 12.30. And it was about eight and a half hours, which would put us getting there, whatever that is, nine. 9 p.m. Anyway, um, that, is, uh, that is very slowly drifted. And uh, it's it's currently saying that we're going to be there at like midnight. Um, and I, I'm going to be honest, I don't really understand where the time went. Do you? I don't know where it went either. Because like, I think just as we were going, the time trickled up or something. So right now we're looking at getting it home maybe by 11.30 or midnight. And that's like, that's a long time from now. So we're trying to decide what we want to do. If we want to go all the way home, I don't mind doing that, but I really hate driving for hours and hours through unfamiliar roads at night. Really don't like doing that. So we might try and book a hotel somewhere and just sleep. But we're gonna decide once we get onto I-95, which God knows at this point, it could take, it could take uh, quite a while longer. like 40 minutes and uh, we're now to the point where we can almost like we can actually see the ramp for 95 up there so we can see the ramp so that's good that's that's a positive look at this dodge up there you see that guy see that guy that guy is a scumbag who deserves a special place in hell where everything is real hot and then this Satan opens up a door and he says, excuse me, sir, were you the guy that decided to not wait in the extremely long line and just cut in at first availability and cut a bunch of people off because you didn't want to wait? And he says, yes, that was me. And he goes, please open, oh, go through this door. And he does, and he falls into a spiked mine shaft. I was thinking an endless line that he has to wait in. Yours is more clever and better, but mine involves more violence. Anyway, um, yeah, it's, it's, it, by the time we get onto the road, we will have been waiting here for like 90 minutes, this person wants in. And I would let them in, because I am that guy. But they're going to drive all the way down and see how far they can get. You son of a gun! You're all terrible people. Um, we booked a hotel in Richmond, which is an hour from when we get on the road and travel at a normal rate, so I don't know when that actually is, but, um, we, we booked a hotel because at this at this rate with how long we've waited we we're getting home at like 12 31 and that's a lot of driving in the dark in places I don't want to drive in the dark especially because if my car breaks down if something does happen I do not want to be stranded in some of the, um, the little tiny towns that we go through that would not be good so we're just gonna stay in Richmond tonight of course in order to do that we have to get up to that 95 South sign, which is uh, taking a while.
Hallelujah. We made it. It's been a bit of a drive. A bit? We were stuck in we were stuck in Fredericksburg for like two hours. It's now 8 p.m. Um, we're finally here. Uh, it's still five plus hours home, but at least we're here and we can relax a little bit, which is nice. I was hoping I'd be home tonight, <laughs> but things don't always turn out exactly like you planned. Um, we need to get some food, and that place over yonder, Mexico Restaurant, which is literally the name of it, it's a Mexican restaurant called Mexico Restaurant, and apparently it's fairly good reviews, so I think we're just going to walk over there because it's not too far from the hotel, and uh, get, a, get a bite of dinner. Tacos al pastor, tacos de barbacoa, I also got some, some rice, and I didn't even know that it came with beans, but they came with beans, so I think we are more than set on, uh, on our taco dinner. Mexico restaurant was uh, pretty good. If by any chance you're ever staying at this particular Fairfield, then you should walk across the street and eat the Mexico restaurant. Um, I, Mal and I uh, swapped one of the, our tacos, and each of us had really good stuff. A little spicy, but uh, otherwise very, very, very good. Now I am gonna get some rest, and what's exciting is that there's no real agenda for tomorrow. Um, we're getting in bed pretty early, which is nice. We can sleep as long as we want. Check out is probably at noon, and we'll leave way, way before that. Um, and there's also, there's both a Dunkin' Donuts and a Bojangles in the parking lot, which would be a great breakfast option, but we're staying at the Fairfield, which has free breakfast, so we'll probably just eat a little bit and then try and get on the road. Um, I don't know exactly what time, but I'm trying not to think about it too much, just like sleep. You know, set set an alarm like a emergency alarm in case you sleep really long, but otherwise just sleep, get some rest, wake up and uh you know, reestablish yourself tomorrow. Get home to the kitties. And when we get home tomorrow, Mal, it will have been like twelve days since we've been gone. Yeah. A little longer than I originally thought that we'd be gone for, but it's been a really good trip, so I can't be too upset. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?